all right so welcome active word family i am so excited about what we're going to be doing next and yes 2020 has been a crazy year so many things have happened we are only in june and we can uh make a long list of all the things that have taken place in these six six months lately so think about the covid uh, the fires in australia locusts in africa we can see that something is happening within the land but the bible says we're not supposed to be dismayed we're not supposed to walk in fear so i'm excited about what we're going to be doing even though we're not able to go out and evangelize and talk to people about christ right now god has given us a great opportunity to use uh, uh the media and uh, the internet to try to reach as many people as we can and uh, since people are being forced to stay in their houses and since people are being forced uh, to kind of look at what's going on on social media we can use this opportunity to be able to reach them in the name of Jesus so what we're going to be doing next is basically uh, using the media as a form of evangelism how can we reach more people basically we want to reach more people by sharing our own personal testimonies of how our lives were transformed by jesus christ how did we come to christ the bible says no one comes to the father unless the father draws them right even though you thought that you came by your own will god orders certain events in your life to draw him to draw you closer to him right so what happened uh, when did you start thirsting and hungering for more you know uh, when was just your regular Christian life not enough maybe you uh, went to church on Sunday and maybe your life really didn't match uh, uh, what you are professing as a Christian so what happened in in those stages and uh, what caused you to hunger and thirst what caused you to elevate how much you do for Christ and how much you you, you go after Christ uh, what increased that fire within you so we're going to be talking about that um, and everyone's going to be sharing their experience I'm gonna share my experience also on how you know my life was changed you know I was born in a Christian family and um, but it wasn't my own thing it wasn't my own faith I didn't own my own faith but I always had questions, so we'll talk about that some more. And I'm looking forward to everybody sharing their stories on uh, how they came to Christ. I know everyone has interesting stories of how this happened. And we can share it on social media so people can know that uh, for God so loved the world that he gave what? His only begotten son that whoever shall believe in him will not perish. You see, he loved the whole world. So it wasn't a specific race. It wasn't a specific uh, uh eye color it wasn't a specific uh, geographic location but god sent his son for what the whole world so by us sharing our testimonies we can uh, let people know that jesus is opening up the door for everyone to come into the kingdom of god that no one can be saved saved except through the name of jesus so i'm so excited about this god bless you all let's go active word yeah